Welcome back to the Cracking Fang YouTube channel. Today we're going to be solving lead code problem number 25, reverse nodes in K group. Before we do, you guys know the drill. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video. It helps me a ton with trying to grow. All right, given the head of a linked list, reverse the nodes of the list K at a time and then return the modified list. K is a positive integer and is less than or equal to the length of the linked list. If the number of nodes is not a multiple of K, then the left out nodes in the end should remain as they are. You may not alter the values of the list's nodes, only nodes themselves may be changed. Okay, so let's look at a very basic example and we're not gonna dwell too long on examples because this question is relatively straightforward. It's actually how we execute it that is the challenge. So we see that we have this linked list one, two, three, four, five. And um, in this example, actually K equals two. So we wanna reverse them two at a time. So as you can see, we reverse the one and the two. So obviously two now points to one. Now we wanna reverse the next two. Uh, so that way we would reverse four and three. So we reverse them and now one is going to point instead of uh, at three now, it's gonna point at four. Um, and then five is actually left out because uh, it's not a multiple of K, the total number of nodes. So we just leave it as is, which is actually fine because there's only one more left. Even if we reversed five, it wouldn't matter. Um, so relatively straightforward when we look at an example, um, the only trick here is that uh, we may not alter the values here. So we can actually, we have to do this in big O of one space, which means that we have to do it in place, uh, which makes it a little bit harder uh, because we basically have to reverse it and then we also have to keep track of kind of where to set uh, kind of the new head and the new tail of our linked list, because obviously it's gonna change after we do the reversal. So let's kind of wipe all of this away and look at a better example so we can kind of uh, intuitively figure out how we wanna do this. So let me wipe this away and we will walk through an example. We wiped away the kind of text. Now let's actually look a little bit deeper into the example we have. So we had uh, the nodes one, two, three, four, five, uh, and K was two. So we know that we need to basically um, reverse this K at a time. So at the beginning, our head is going to be given to us by this node one. So we wanna reverse two nodes. So we essentially wanna go forward until we found two nodes. So essentially we wanna reverse from one to two. So we're gonna do that, right? So we're gonna reverse from one to two, and then let's kind of just assume that we have the rest of our uh, linked list here untouched, right? So now the head of our linked list is still pointing at one, uh, because you know that's the variable that we essentially have. And we are now going to define some new variables, and we're gonna call k tail uh, the variable that is basically the tail of this linked list that we just reversed um, after the, re the reverse, right? So it's gonna be called K tail. And the reason that we need this is we actually need to link the rest of the linked list once we reverse it back here. So we need that K tail variable to basically tell us where the last node we uh, stopped was. And we also need this one, um, and we're gonna call this the reverse head. And what this is gonna do is gonna be the head of the part that we just reversed. Now this part is a little bit uh, unique when it's at the beginning because this will actually be the head of our linked list, what we need to return. But for now, we can actually just proceed forward. So we now need to reverse two more, right? So we can essentially, you know, you know, we have to reverse them. So the head of our linked list would now be here because that's where we're working. So we're gonna move it up between reversing this part and now we're here. So now what we need to do is, oops, let's uh, kind of get back here. So we now reverse, right? So we already reversed two to one. And remember that one is still holding our K tail kind of variable. And then we essentially reverse four and three, right? So we reverse these. And now the head is still pointing at three. And now the new reverse head, we want to swap it with whatever the old value was. So now instead of pointing at two, the new reversed head is going to essentially be pointing at four, right? Makes sense because that's the new kind of uh, tail, was the tail and now it's the head of our linked list, right? 
but we want to be careful not to actually lose uh, our old reversed head especially here when it's the first one because this is actually going to be what we need to return so to do that we're actually going to once we've now created a new reversed head we need to store this into the new head which is basically going to be the new head of our linked list and this is actually going to be our solution in the end once we actually reverse everything now what you'll notice is that k tail and the reverse head actually need to be linked to each other so that's why we have the pointer for k tail and we also have the pointer for reverse head so now that we've made the swap we actually need to you know make this swap here and then we'll see that the last element we have is just a five and it's on its own but because five is less than two uh, there's actually nothing for us to swap here so we essentially are just ending up with the list two uh one four three oops four three and then five right and we don't have to swap anything here and then remember the new head is pointing at two uh new head and that's what we want to return as our final solution so it's a little bit complex because we have a lot of these variables but the gist of what we want to do is we want to go forward through our linked list k at a time and reverse that part of the linked list and then we basically just need to store some pointers to keep track of uh, where we ended off so that way when we reverse the next k elements we can actually link where we left off to now uh, the new head of our reverse linked list because obviously they need to be uh, you know linked right so this two so this one needs to be linked to the four right so this was the old uh, head and also our k tail variable because it's now at the end of our reverse portion we need to link it to whatever the head of our new reverse portion of the next k elements is uh, in order to do this and we're essentially going to do this until we basically hit the end of the array so that's the general intuition now let's actually go to the code editor and type it out i'll walk through with everything uh kind of line by line so you can you know get it through your head because we do have a few pointers and i guess maybe it's not clear uh when we update things this was kind of just the general intuition that we need to reverse them k at a time and then also keep track of uh, pointers so we can also update uh the linked list as necessary so what we're going to do now is actually just go to the code editor i'll see you there in a second let's code this up uh, the first thing that we want is basically to just define a utility function to actually reverse the list so we're just going to say reverse self uh, and this is going to take the head of a linked list and however many elements we want to reverse um, so what we're going to do is the new head which is what we're going to return um, initially this is going to be none and we're going to have the previous value and this is going to equal to our head so we're going to say while k so while we haven't reversed k elements what we want to do is the next node so the next node uh, is going to equal to whatever prev dot uh, next is and what we want to do is we now want to say that uh, what so we're going to say that the prev dot next is now we're going to swap it with whatever the like old head was so we're going to say new head um and now what we're going to do is the new head is actually going to equal to whatever prev was right so we're swapping them and now we need to actually move prev forward so we're going to say prev is going to equal to next node um and then we're going to decrement k by one at the end of this we will have reversed uh, our k nodes so we're just going to return the new head here cool so that's the reverse function we can kind of set it off to the side for a second and now actually work on uh, the main function here so again we're going to need a you know variable to basically keep track of our current position so we're going to set that equal to whatever head is and remember we need that k tail variable to basically keep track of whatever the k tail is so basically after we do a reversal of k nodes what is now the uh, tail node right after we've reversed them so what we want to do obviously that's going to be none because we haven't reversed anything and then we also need our result this new head uh, and this is also going to be none because we haven't actually reversed it um, so we can't actually return anything yet so what we're going to do is uh, while we have you know something left to reverse so while uh, current what we're going to do is basically we're going to go forward k times right so we're going to say count equals zero because we haven't actually um, gone any forward yet so now we need to start counting nodes from our head right so we're going to set our current node 
equal to um, the head. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna say while count is less than K, and we have actually a node to go forward with, um, what we're gonna do is we're going to say current equals cur.next, and we're going to move the count up. So essentially what we're gonna do is just move our head up K places, and then we need to actually reverse um, those K elements if we had K, right? So when this breaks, either count will be greater than or equal to K, or uh, cur will be um, non, it'll be null, right? So once this breaks, we actually need to check whether or not count was actually equal to K, because if we had K, then we need to reverse them. If not, remember that if you didn't get K elements, then you just leave them as they are, you don't reverse them. So we're gonna say if count, actually equals to k, that means that we saw k elements, which means that we now need to reverse that portion of the list. So what we're gonna do uh, is essentially just reverse that portion of the list, right? So we're gonna say that the reversed head uh, is, oops, uh, reverse head is going to equal to what? So we're gonna say self.reverse, um, and we're gonna pass in the current head, um, which if you remember is whatever the head was when we started this loop, uh, and then we're gonna do k elements, right? So essentially the reason we need to do this is because remember, if you don't actually have k elements, uh, you can't reverse them. You only can reverse it with k, so that's why we move the pointers forward k times, or this count. Um, we wanna make sure that it's actually equal to k, otherwise uh, we can't reverse them, we just have to leave them as they are. So we're going to actually just find the point where we have k, uh, and if we did actually see elements, then we're going to reverse them. So now that we've reversed it, because remember the reverse function tells us what the head of our new reversed linked list is, uh, we essentially need to basically now update our solutions, right? So remember that uh, new head, which is our uh, solution, uh, is actually null in the beginning. So we need to update this uh, if we actually can. So we're gonna say, if not uh, new head, so basically, if new head isn't defined yet, then the new head, that means that if new head is not defined, then this is our first K reversal, because whenever new head is um, not reversed, we're actually gonna set it equal to the revision head, so, uh, sorry, the reversed head. So essentially, that first K, uh, whatever the head is after the swap, is actually gonna be the head of our linked list uh, in the end, which is our solution, right? So if ever new head is not defined, then we need to set it equal to uh, rev head, which is actually going to be um, what the actual final node is. Otherwise, um, we want to actually swap um, whatever the new head was, or sorry, the old reverse head, we need to link it with whatever the tail was. Remember that the tail of the last link list we reversed now needs to get set. Um, its next node needs to now be the uh, the reversed head of the no fuck of the linked list that we just reversed. Sorry, this is quite confusing. So if k tail exists, so basically if we have reversed something in the past, then we need to say that k tail down next equals our uh, reversed head. So we can actually link the two. So this will happen after we've reversed basically two k sized uh, groups, right? Uh, because otherwise k tail would be uh, null. Um, on the first time we do it. So now that we've done that, we now need to update our uh, variables. So now k tail is going to be set now to equal our uh, head. And what we wanna do now is the head needs to get set to whatever our current node is. So it can actually continue through uh, the linked list. So this will go forward uh, basically while there's something left to process uh, and now remember that it could be the case that our loop breaks here um, when cur is actually null, uh, but we actually didn't have count equals to k, which means that there's some portion of the list which needs to remain, and we just need to attach that at the very end, and remember, we don't reverse that part. So if there is a k tail, uh, we simply just wanna set k tail dot next equals to whatever uh, the head is, so if head, um, if there is anything there, then we actually want to set it equal to 
um, sorry, yeah, we wanna set it equal to whatever the head is to basically get that last portion. If it's null, then doing ktl.next uh, won't do anything because that'll just set the, the end of the list um, to be null. So that's fine, we don't have to worry about that. Uh, okay, so the last portion that we wanna do here is just return our answer. So we wanna return uh, new head if the new head exists. So if we were ever able to actually reverse k nodes at a time, otherwise um, we just wanna return head, right? So it could be the case that there's actually, we never actually make a reversal because the length of the linked list is actually less than k, in which case uh, we just wanna return whatever the original head was because that means that we can't actually uh, reverse anything. And this will only happen if new head is still none by the time we finish our reversals here. So yeah, that is basically the code here. Let me just clean this up a bit and I don't know what's going on with leak codes UI here. This seems to be a bug. Um, let's submit this and it looks fine. No mistakes off the bat. Let's submit it. Um, did that get accepted? Yes, it did. Awesome. Okay, thank God. Um, all right, cool. What is the time and space complexity here? So the time complexity, as you can see, we only ever go through the array once um, to basically process it. And then we have this reverse part, uh, which means that we'll actually touch every node twice, uh, which means that this is a two times big, ah, big O of N, uh, where N is the number of nodes in the list, right? Uh, but obviously we don't care about the constants here, so we can get rid of that. So it's just gonna be big O of N. And then for the space complexity, we were told off the bat, we couldn't use any extra space. We had to do this completely in place, which we have. Uh, so this is going to actually be a big O of one uh, space solution. So there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I know it's quite a confusing one. Sorry if I got tripped up at times. There are quite a few variables to keep track of, um, but it's generally, I'd say, quite intuitive how it works. It's just how you actually handle these pointers uh, that can kind of give you a bit of a headache, but you know, maybe just watch the video a second time um, to kind of get that and maybe look back at the diagram. Uh, hopefully that one helped. I know that my drawing skills aren't the best, but hopefully I'm a lot better at uh, explaining things um, with words than I am with pictures. So yeah, that is going to be reverse uh, nodes in K group. Definitely a tricky linked list one. I did not really enjoy this one, but uh, it's quite popular. So I figured I would make a video for you guys. If you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like and a comment. It really helps me out with the channel uh, to grow and basically um, you know, get the audience as big as possible. If you wanna see more content like this, uh, subscribe. And um, yeah, if you made it this far, thank you for watching all the way to the end and I will see you in the next one. Bye.